sound K. Today is Sohan, the day of the year in Korea, whose name literally means small cold. Don't let the name fool you, though. They say that more people have died from the small cold than from the big cold. The weather has been pretty warm for winter time for the past few days, but apparently it's about to get real cold with Sohan as the start. The best way to prevent catching cold in the winter is to wash your hands often, drink a lot of water, so keep those hands clean and stay healthy. Welcome to Sound K. And I'm your DJ, Stephanie. Yes, welcome back, everyone. You're listening to Sound K, and I'm your DJ, Stephanie. Today is Tuesday, January 6th, 2015, and the first song of Sound K was a very, very sexy song. It was Sapun Sapun, Like a Cat by A.O. A, the Ace of Angels. All right, so let's talk about weather. OMG. Well, I saw the news in the morning to check the weather, of course, uh, and I uh, said till this Friday, because it's a Tuesday today in Korea, till this Friday, Sohan, I just literally talked about that during the intro, uh, small cold, literally translating to little uh, small cold. And this will, this coldness will continue, yes, uh, till Friday. And it might hit maybe below negative 10 degrees. Oh my goodness. And our um, anchor announcer, Sammy, she just shared the weather and might hit below negative 7 uh, degree tomorrow, but uh, maybe starting from tonight. Yeah. And I really don't like cold weather. I really, I really don't like it. And especially when um, it's irregular. Yeah. It's like, um, it's uh, in the afternoon, it's a little warm. Yeah. It's a little warmer, but uh, as soon as it, the sun goes away, that it's really, really cold in Korea. And it's really dry inside the studio also. So I'm, my voice is also cracking right now. But anyways, and I'm taking vitamins just in case so I don't get sick. Yeah. Uh, to prevent catching cold and make sure to close the window. Close windows before I go to sleep because last time when I was sick, I just it was kind of stupid. Yeah, I left the window and I just fell asleep. And after that, I was sick. So I'm like making sure that the, all the windows are closed. And I know some of our listeners are sick. So please drink a lot of H2O because, like I said, drinking lots of water, it really helps. But I really need to drink a lot of water. And these days, especially, I don't really drink a lot. Yeah, it's been a problem. But drink, please drink a lot of water. And I hope you guys get well soon and be healthy again. All right, so for intro questions, since we are talking about H2O, I want to ask our listeners, how much do you drink water? Per day. Yes. Like one liter or two liter. I mean, liter, uh, it's, it's a lot. But still, me, I barely drink mm, maybe two cups a day. <laughs> yeah, I know it's a really small amount. I really need to try, at least I really have to try to drink more water. Anyways, for our listeners, for intro questions, how much do you drink water per day? That's my intro question for our listeners. Or you can say hello or what's up, send in a what's up message on our message board. Where in the world are you listening to Sound K? Which country? Where in that country? It is 808 in Korea. What time is it? Where you are? What are your plans for today? Tell me all about it. Tell me your right now. So please post it up on our message board. We'll share it all together. It is arirangradio.com slash sound K. We have a fallen angel, Lisa Wu from the UK saying good evening, Stephanie and Sound K Steph. Hello, hello, Lisa. So thanks for the really fun interview with Legend. I had a lot of fun last night. Uh, you are an awesome DJ. Oh, thank you. And I love how you make your guests feel at home. <laughs> 
And thanks for asking Taehyung for the morning call. Wasn't that crazy? I thought that was really cute. OMG. And he said, 사랑해. That literally, yeah, means I love you. It's like 자기야. He was saying, baby, I love you. Wake up. So I'm sure that you were very happy. Uh, he was so cute and he so happy he did a few and uh, in English too. Yes. And keep up the awesome work, Stephanie and Sound K staff. With a heart at the end, Lisa Wu from the UK. Thank you very, very much for your feedback message. All right. So this is how you can join us on Sound K and join us on our message board. If you are on Jeju Island, our FM frequencies are 80.7 in Jeju City, 80.1 in Sogipo City, 101.9 megahertz in Daejeon area. And you can also find us on T D M B I D Dang Radio. If you have a smartphone, you can download our application that is available for both iPhone and, of course, Android operation systems. And be sure to check us out on Twitter and Facebook. Twitter ID is at SoundK2022, and Facebook is SoundK. Arirang Radio. Also, feel free to send us your comments, messages, questions on our message board. It is www.arirangradio.com slash sound K. Let's listen to one more track and come back. This is Amazing Bad Lady by Cross Jean. Quiz, quiz, quiz. Are you guys ready for tonight's daily quiz? We have our question with amazing prize. So listen very carefully. A member of a girl group has become the first idol star to join the honor society, a club of people who have donated more than a hundred million won or about a hundred thousand dollars. She has been helping those in need since 2010. And through an interview, she said that at first she didn't want to make her good deeds public, but later decided to join the Honor Society in the hope of inspiring others to give as well. She has recently been cast in the Chinese drama God of War Char Yun and is continuing to build on her acting career after her debut as a member of Girls Generation. So who is this charitable member of Girls Generation? Number one, Taeyeon. Number two, Yuna. Number three, Tiffany. Once more, number one, Taeyeon. Number two, Yuna. Number three, Tiffany. So now we'll accept only the answers written on our message board. So log on to our website, www.adidangradio.com slash soundk and leave us your answers. Of course, we'll announce the winners on our message board. So be sure to check that out. If you get the answer right this time, we will be giving away the sign CD of Chunsar, it's legend signed C D. So be sure to leave us your answers on our message board. Once again, it's arirangradio.com slash sound. Okay. We have Niel from Tunisia saying, AOA, like a cat. I love this song so, so much. It seems that you like it too. Yes, I was lip singing. I always leap sing. Yeah, it's always fun. And we have Melanie from Friends, Vong Drew, saying, Hello, Ani. How was your day? AOA. Totally love them since their debut. Thank you for playing the latest, their latest song. Yes, of course. Um, How was my day? I actually overslept today. Yeah. I couldn't uh, go to sleep till 8 a.m in the morning today yeah i had a difficult time going to bed but now i'm totally fine <laughs> yeah well it was really really hard for me to follow it you know have a nice sleep so i'm kind of everywhere tonight today but i had a pretty good uh, tuesday yeah and i am here alive so thank you very much melanie but how are you Mm. And we have 80s from Iceland. This is a very interesting and a happy message. Hello, Stephanie and Nia. Happy Tuesday. I have a news. We have an announcement to make. Me and Asia created a group on SNS. Yes, it's a book SNS as a fan club for Sound K. We named it Sound K Divas. Oh, I love it. 
sound key divas. So far, me and Asia are the only members because we just created. And so I would like to invite the listeners to join us. Do you have a better name for sound key fan club? Mm, maybe we should ask our listeners. So uh, those of you who are interested in this SNS that 80s and Asia created for Sound K listeners, um, I don't know the address, but it's a, it's a Facebook page. I can see that. And for you, you're naming it um, and you say Sound K Divas, but why not, right? So whoever are interested or have a better name, uh, if you have any idea i want to ask our listeners any any good name for our sound cave fan club page let us know and 80s thank you very much for letting me know as well all right so we keep continue to participate on our message board for the daily quiz answers and also the intro question it is our time to take a music break and come back the first song is way day why by four ten and followed by per good star you by tony Hwa. Yes, welcome back everyone. You're listening to Sound K and I'm your DJ Stephanie. We have a lot of feedback messages for our intro questions, so let's share the messages. We have Olivia from the state saying hello. So about the intro, I drink a lot of juice actually, but I only drink maybe a cup of water every day. Cup of water? You barely drink water then. Hmm, maybe you should drink a little bit more. Yes, please do, Olivia. Just for me, okay? I'm going to try to start drinking more water. Yes, please. Please, please, please do. And we have Alisa from the Philippines, H2O. I normally drink one liter of water, the bottle of waters, but when I am not feeling good, I drink two to five cups of the water i see and you say oh i'm weird no you are not weird so sometimes we get we do get lazy to drink water oh my goodness drinking water is such a it's torturing for me i'm not used to drink water i can drink i don't know 14 cups of coffee but <laughs> water oh my goodness i'm drinking this vitamin water vitamin water is okay but just you know just normal water i don't know i'm just not a big fan of it I'm weird. You're not weird, Elisa from the Philippines. But thank you very much for your feedback message. And we have a DB Squana 91 from Romania. So I barely drink a liter. I know it's not healthy, and I even had a kidney stones. Oh, that really, really need H two O then. Yes, uh, because of the not drinking enough water. But I have almost a month since I am drinking two liters per day. Good for you. I have a bottle of water near my bed, and I drink water all day long like a duck. <laughs> oh my goodness, you're so cute, like a duck. Does duck drink a lot of water? I don't know. Yeah. Anyways, uh, DB Squad 91 from Romania. Well, good to hear that. Two liters per day. Oh, wow. I'm impressed. And we have 80s from Iceland. So I drink at least one liter of water every day. That's good to hear. And sometimes more. Yes, drink a lot of water and prevent uh, from catching cold. Please, pot of water. And we have a Melanie from France, of course. Hmm, I think I drink around one liter per day. I remember when I was younger. Okay, lol. And I used to drink juice if I had the choice between juice and water. Well, that's of course, it's tasty, right? But now I will mainly go for water. Really? And Melanie, you added that um, I am fine. I'm quite okay today. I wasn't in such a bad mood when I woke up today. And I wasn't too tired too. Mm, good to hear that. For the fan club name, maybe Sound K Family. Ooh, actually, you know what? SK Fam. SK Fam. It stands for Sound K Family and also can be Stephanie Kim's family. I'm sad. I think that's a really good idea, Melanie from France. Thank you very much for your feedback messages. And we have Niel from Tunisia saying, Intro question. Well, I drink maybe a bottle of uh, per day. 
Okay, but my mom drinks a lot of water because she is sick, and I don't know how to、uh, tell you the disease. But she drinks maybe even three bottles in a day.、Uh, you know what? Because drinking water can also cure a lot of things.、Uh, that's what I. That's what I heard. And、uh, I think your mom is doing very well. Drinking a lot of water is very, very, very important. And seventy percent of our body, you know, we need water. Our body. Needs water, so I think she is doing the right thing. And Neil, maybe make sure to tell your mom that to take care of her health. Okay, Neil, thank you very much. And also, you should drink a lot of water too. And we have a Paulin、uh, from UK. Good evening, hello Stephanie. How are you? To answer your question, I drink between two to three liters. Ooh, if wa-、uh, water every day. And happy New Year! Fantastic show, Paulina. Maldonado from London, and I remember that you sent me the Christmas card to surprise me, and I really want to thank you for that too, Paulina. Thank you very much. All right, so who time is ticking? It is our time to listen to our check and come back. This is Ibe Bangsik of Farewell by Suki. Welcome. It's time for sound K. Yeah. Alright, what's good, Stephanie? Take it over. Thank you for tuning in. You're listening to Sound K, and I'm your DJ Stephanie. So today we have our new corner. No, it's not new corner. It's popular corner. Tell me, tell me with Corey of Two Four K. From small embarrassing question to troubles that have been waiting you down for a long time, we're standing by to listen and. Help you. We will also be giving you a cheer up song in addition to our advice. And for the star date on Thursday, which is January eighth, we are going to invite this amazing female girl group. It's a bebop in our studio. So make sure to support our guests with a lots of love and messages of plus the questions on our message board. And we need more messages for our segment corners on Tuesdays. We have a tell me, tell me, of course, like today with Cor. Of two four K, where we give you the advice, and on Wednesday, so we have heart to heart with Jesse, and of course Benji in our studio, where we accept your messages about romance. We are going to talk about love, and then on Sundays, we let you, our listeners, become the DJ of the night with my playlist. So please leave us one theme with three song choices that you like to hear. So a little bit of explanation. Why you choose that songs maybe、uh, will be nice. So please keep those messages coming on our message board. It is arirangradio.com/soundk. All right, so let's move on to our blah blah blah. Your everyday thoughts turn into a great line on the radio with blah blah blah. Listen to today's topic, and tonight's topic is. Color of your eyes. I want to ask our listeners because I haven't met our listener yet in person. So I want to ask our listeners, what color is your eyes? I am. This is a very personal, random question. I'm sorry about that, but you know what? It's a blah blah blah、um, message. It can be very random, right? So I have very dark brown, maybe. It's just brown, yeah, brown eye colors. And most of Asian people we do. But um, what color is your eyes? Make sure to send in your messages with the title blah 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 on our message board. Before we move on, let's share some more feedback messages. This is Suki Twenty. From Turkey. So hello, this is intro feedback. Hello, Stephanie and me. Hello, hello. Ah,、uh, what a beautiful day. It's snowing here. Oh, is it in Turkey? I see. I really love snow, so I am very happy. Although I have a final exam. Ooh, good luck! And I heard you. You don't really like cold weather. No, 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 no. I don't like me. No likey. And about drinking water. 
Sometimes I drink a lot,、uh, and sometimes I just forget to drink water. Have a nice day, and thank you very much, Suki Twenty from Turkey. And don't get sick, okay? Drink. Don't forget to drink water. <laughs> All right, and especially it's snowing. I know it's gonna be cold after the snowy day, so make sure to not catch a cold, okay? And we have Miriam from Italy, like a camel. Okay, like a, we have a like duck and camel. Okay, here we go. Hello, Stephanie. I am finally back after busy month, and I am happy to tune in again with a smiley face. By the way, I drink a lot of water since I was a little, and I just like it, just like a camel. LOL, <laughs> just like a camel. It comes very natural to me to drink water. I can drink also four or more bottles of one liter per day. Really. So that's like、uh, about four liters. Oh my goodness, Miriam! Well, good to hear that. But、um, I know camels have, you know, they have water pockets or yeah, do do they call that? Yeah, on their back. But I don't know if they drink a lot of water though. <laughs> but it's just、uh, it's really funny how our listeners、um, uh, give me this、uh, the animal name. <laughs> Duck and camels. You just literally made my day. Thank you, Miriam. That was a very, very cute message. And we have myself from the Philippines. So to your question, this is the feedback message. I'm the type of person who doesn't drink a lot of water. Mm, that's a no no. I rarely drink water, and I cannot even drink more than five glasses a day. Yeah, like welcome to my world.、Uh, five glasses—that's really hard for me. But I will try to expand my amount of drinking water. I really seriously need to drink more water because、um, I can sense、uh, it because my voice is changing. Yeah, especially in this dry dryness, and because a lot of building inside a building,、uh, they put heater on. What、well, we don't really put、um, on the heater a lot in Adirang building, but still, it's still very dry. Well, anyways, myself,、uh, make sure to drink a little bit more. Yes, promise. Thank you very much for your feedback message. And、uh, we have.、Uh, let's share one more. This is Saida from Tunisia. So,、uh, about Stephanie. Stephanie, I need you to check the page that I create for you. Facebook. Hmm. I will update everything about you. Please,、uh, guys, check it all. So please check Stephanie Kim Tunisian fans. Is this a、uh, personal、uh, the fan page just for me, Saida, or、um, for Sound Key family?、Um, I don't know. Maybe I should definitely check that out. And if our listeners are curious,、uh, make sure to check that. Two, okay.、Uh, Zitani Saida from Tunisia. Thank you very much for letting us know. All right, so it is our time to listen to this track and come back. This is Ulmen and the Winter's Tale. You better not cry by B to B. I love this piano sound. I think that was amazing song. That was Supun Yegam Sad Feeling by Eugen of M Black with Hong. Jung Hyun. All right, so ooh, since、uh, I don't really have enough time, and I receive so much, so 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 many of our feedback messages for blah blah blah, and plus the intro feedback, so I go fast.、Uh, this is Eduardo from the states、uh, saying, "Drinking water, I drink about three to four liter of H two O because I play sports." Really, so I'm always thirsty. You're always thirsty, <laughs> so I drink a lot of water. Oh, that's really really nice. And also, the color of your eye—it's light brown. Ooh, I see. You have very sexy eye colors. And we have eighties from Iceland. I have gray blue eyes, gray and blue. Mmm, very interesting. I see. So you kind of have that mystery, um, mystery eye colors, right? But I think that your eyes will be beautiful, and they get darker if I am feeling angry. Really? I'm sorry. I just threw the message away. <laughs> I'm like, really? That's scary.、Uh, but usually they are really light, and I have dark brown hair, so it's a nice combination. 
if I do say so myself. Eighty, thank you very much. And you said that sound K、uh, SK fam sounds awesome. But you know what, eighties? Uh, uh, and also Asia, can you guys let us know how we can check that page, Facebook page out? Because Paulina from the UK saying the page about sound K divas, I cannot find it. Uh, so let us know how can we find that page? Okay, thank you very much. And we have a Melanie from France. My eyes color it is black, and I wish I could have a shiny brown. But yeah, <laughs> but yeah, why not? I think you have beautiful eyes. Yes, thank you very much. And we have Alisa from the Philippines. So my eye color is brown. Okay, ash brown. Oh, I see ash brown.、Mm. Seriously, I really want to meet you guys in person and just look into your eyes. Seriously, I just love to share this, and I think I kind of gave a great blah 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 topic tonight, right?、Mm, pat my shoulder. And we have Abla from Morocco. My eyes color is brown. Very sexy color. Have a warm evening, Stephanie, with a smiley face, and of course the heart at the end. Avla, thank you very much. And、uh, we have uh, Abla uh, from Morocco.、Oh, this is the same. I just read that. I'm sorry about that. And we have Suki twenty from Turkey. Blah blah blah. Message brown, which turns green in the sun. So your eye color changes. Wow. Interesting, eighties and Suki. It's a similar situation, but you guys have a different eye co- eyes color, and I think it's amazing. Suki Twenty from Turkey. I'm mean, sure that you have beautiful eyes color, and we have Niel from Tunisia. I love this question, and I have a green eye colors. Okay, green eyes. Many people are unable to saw very clearly the color. They told me it's green, and there is brown too. So greenish. There's brown also. Hmm. Yeah, I can kind of imagine. I'm sure that our listeners have amazing, amazing, pretty, beautiful eye colors. Oh, and one more. We have a TV Squad ninety one from Romania. My eyes are light green. Uh huh. Very pretty. They seem yellow, maybe because of my blonde hair, and because I say I have a、uh, hazel eyes. Hazel eyes. Beautiful. Thank you very much for your feedback messages. But because of time, I have to wrap up the first part of the show. But I will see you guys on part two with Corey in our studio. And the last song is "Give Love" by Acton Musician. See you guys on part two. Yes, yes, yes. Welcome back, everyone. The second part of Sound K has started. It is Tuesday, January six, two thousand fifteen, and you can enjoy your morning, afternoon, or evening with me on Sound K. And for tell me, tell me, kicking off the second part of tonight's show. Of course, we are going to invite Corey in our studio. So hold on for that. Um, but because we didn't get to recap tonight's daily quiz, I'm going to read this off once more for those of you who. Missed it. So listen carefully. A member of a girl group has become the first idol star to join the honor society, a club of people who have donated more than hundred thousand dollars. Wow, she has been helping those in need since two thousand ten. And through an interview, she said that at first she didn't want to make her good deeds public, but later decided to join the honor society in the hope of inspiring others to give as well. She has recently been cast in the Chinese drama God of War Zai Yun, and is continuing to build on her acting career after her debut as a member of a. Girls' Generation. So, who is this a charitable member of Girls' Generation? Number one, Taeyeon. Number two, Yuna. Number three, Tiffany. So, we'll accept only the answers written on our message board. And this time, we will give away the signed CD of Chun's Heart Legend. So, be sure to leave us your answers on our message board. Ah,、uh, we have John from the state saying hello. Just wake up.、Uh, just woke up, and it is snowing. Yeah, work. Is closed today, so I can listen to Sound K till the end. Hope you're having a good day, Stephanie. Thank you, John from the states, and we have Olivia. 
My eyes are the same color as yours, Stephanie. Dark brown, sexy dark brown color. And we have Sarah from Algeria saying hello. I'm a regular listener, but I don't write a lot because I don't know what to say. So I decided from now on I will try to write often. Sarah from Algeria. Ah,、uh, yes. Some of our listener will have a trouble because you guys will be like, oh, so awkward to write messages. But just like your best friend. So when when we、uh, Uh, wake up in the morning, especially me. When I wake up, I talk to my friends and I text my friends. So it's like same thing. So whatever you want to say, if you guys need any help or just anything that you want to share, uh, just uh, be you know comfortable to write a message for me, Sarah. Okay, and do not feel awkward. Yes, and、uh, we have Eduardo from the states、uh, saying thank you. When you said my eye color is sexy, lol, I started blushing. <laughs> <laughs> and the type of sports I play is baseball. Ooh, that's sexy. Or there you go, Eduardo from the state. Thank you very much. It is our time to listen to our track and start our tell me, tell me. This is Happen Ending by Epic High featuring Cho Won Sun. Tell me. Tell me. All those things you couldn't tell your friends and family. From the smallest to the most serious problems, everything goes away. Tell us all about it. We'll give you great advice and even cheer you up with a song. Uh huh. It is. Tell me. Tell me. Woo! Oh my goodness. Tell me. Tell me. Tell me. Oh wow! Very energetic, Corey. Oh, like always. <laughs> Like always. Am I not always energetic? You're always energetic. But、yes. how are you? How was your week? My week, it's great. It's, it's 2015. Yes, and it's a great start because I, I know I always bring this up, and、mm-hmm. like in the end, I don't even know how credible I'm being anymore. But y'all, for real, we got some stuff cooking up right now. Oh yeah. For real. For real, for real, it's going down for real. Oh my goodness!、Mm. I just love that's、uh, that's as much、uh, information I'm gonna give out though. Well, you you pretty much gave us. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's all I need. That's all y'all need to know. Well, because I'm very happy for you because I、Thank、know you. you put a lot of effort. Yes, and that's why I'm so excited.、It. You're so excited,、yes. and I can totally tell、mm-hmm. from your tone of your yeah, voice. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's like so. It、smiling. was like it. It only happened a couple days ago. Oh the really? And, oh, Confirmed.、Man. Something? My like smile was going up to my you know cheeks you know like, you're like yes I was cheesing all night yeah、mm. and your friend was here last yes、night. he got so excited he dropped by for Sound K or yeah Sound he K,、right? uh, yes I interviewed yeah him. he called、Tons、me、are. up and as soon as he finished I think and he was like. I, I don't know. You met him. You, the, he's a tall dude. He's very calm. He's the tallest member in Legend. Yeah, and he's usually really calm too. Like I don't know how he was、Keep、yesterday. Keep calm. <laughs> well, how was he yesterday? It was amazing. That I how was a, he in particular, Jay? Well, he well he's from the UK、right. and he was yeah he, he talks he, like this. No,、right? but no, I, I you know what he was.、Uh, wasn't he really just kind of like he wasn't、low? crazy? Yeah,、right. he wasn't crazy at all. He's usually very, very you know he's just down to earth and very calm. But、mm-hmm. he called me up like really like excited, and I was like I was confused. <laughs> I was in the middle、started. of my dinner, and I was like, you know, I had like food in my mouth, so I was like, yo, what up, what up? And he's like. Oh yeah, blah 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 blah. blah. He's like, I just met up with Stephanie Nuna, and、uh, he was like, super excited. I was like, you're like,、oh. great. What? <laughs> so what's going on? What's going on? Something happened? Oh, okay. Because so yeah, because I, I, I was trying、him. to figure it out myself. I was like, why is he so like? I mean, it's exciting to come on, you know. Well, maybe yeah,、sure. maybe it was. But a... I, did something happen between you and him or something? <laughs> no, no, because I was asking、mm. that because Corey, you've been talking about Legend, right, and you、right. were like, one of my good friends is、mm-hmm. in one of the. The the member in、right. the legend.、And、I'm like, yes, we are going、mm-hmm. to interview them. It、mm-hmm. was yesterday. Yeah, yeah. He didn't act anything crazy last He's night. He's not. He, I'm not saying. You know, that's why、well, I was happy. Well, maybe he was happy after the interview. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe.、Yeah. Shoot. Maybe y'all need to have him over a lot more often. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. So let's see that. But anyways,、mm-hmm. Corey, I love your bini, by the way. Thank you. Thank anyways, you. we have to start with our Kubra、mm-hmm. from Turkey. For sure. Yes. This is actually. 
actually it's not a tell me tell me mm-hmm. just our listener just need to calm down a little message. bit <laughs> saying mm-hmm. Corey I missed you so much mm-hmm. I couldn't listen、uh, to you for、mm-hmm. four months but I don't know how I can still be alive without listening to、Aww. you today is snowy Istanbul and、mm-hmm. I am so cold and also have my final exam next week so can you give、oh, right、me、on. an advice or any kind of a message to calm our listeners to calm down, down? <laughs> To calm to down, calm down. Calm. I'm, I'm the wrong person to ask the like advice or any type of advice is regarding calming down because I'm not a very game face type person. <laughs> But why don't you give a cheerful, I mean, poker face, che- cheerful message cheerful? for our listeners? You can do it, Cobra. <laughs> you can do it. Yes, good luck,、yeah. Cobra. I know how stressful it is. We got your back, Cobra. Right, final exams, and、mm-hmm. uh, we uh, hope that our cheer- cheerful songs,、mm-hmm. which we are going to play yes, for the our best listeners, playlist ever、mm-hmm. in、cheer-up、the world. <laughs> so, Cobra, <laughs> hopefully、uh, you do well. On、mm-hmm. your final exam, and、mm-hmm. Corey just gave you this, you know, energy.、Mm-hmm. He just sent、yes, that、Kubra. energy to Turkey. So, <laughs> you just love to say his name.、Kubra. All right, but、um, let's start. Let's read our next tell me, tell me message. And、uh, let's Corey, do it. Yeah,、yes. what did you share、It's、for us? It's from Heather from the states. Yes. One of my personal <laughs> struggles for the fa- past five years has been that making、uh, is, was making friends.、Mm. I had really good group of friends throughout my schooling up to up until high school. Okay. The second year in high school, my good group of friends and I had, or、uh, for that I had for half my life, started rumors around the school,、mm. and it it left a huge scar in my life. Oh, that's ugly. And because you know most people just go by one side of the rumor without finding out the truth、right. or asking the person themselves. So I've decided from that point on not to keep my friendships with those people.、Mm. When I studied abroad in university. I studied abroad in university. Sorry,、mm-hmm. I decided to open up and make new friends again. And the day before I left the country, rumors spread, and it was very upsetting.、Oh、so I'm、gosh. guessing new new rumors popped up, right?、Mm-hmm. And、uh, now it's very hard for me to make new friends. And I think it's truly one of. I truly just have one. Oh, I truly only have one distant friend, and long distant, long distant friend. Sorry,、uh-huh. who I truly believe to be my best friend、okay. or my friend. And how can I overcome these scars or these problems and start making new friends again? And how can I trust they won't make you know new rumors about me? My heart、uh, hurts. From this situation, and it's very hard for me to trust anyone anymore.、Mm-hmm. And I feel very lonely, and I want to make new friends, but who won't hurt me in the end? What's your advice, and what's our take? Wow. Okay. First of all, thank you very much,、mm-hmm. Heather, because it might be, you know,、um, it's not easy to open up about. No, stuff it like is、this. not easy. And also,、uh-huh. our listener can help us out with、mm-hmm. the situation. But first of all, Corey,、right. uh, what about this? You know, hearing all these rumors, rumors, and you know, try to avoid it, but it. Kind of hard to. Isn't this like something most kids kind of deal with in high school? Well, well I mean, starting from junior high, it not only whenever, in、right? school, but in general. Yeah, in life, general, in our with, life, in our with our peers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, and in this music industry. Oh, absolutely, because it's, it's such ugly. A, yeah, yeah. Everybody knows about each other, and you know, everyone's making up, you know, their takes on yeah the situations, and we have a lot of rumors. But、yeah. as far as rumors with me go, like, I just don't really care. Okay, and I and I think this is kind of you said? another way. Yeah, and and another way could be an advice to you, Heather, because why get stuck over? I mean, if it's, I mean, I guess it depends on what kind of rumor it right. is. Right, and also in school, like right, school, right. It's, it's so small, clicky. Yeah, and、right? it's small、mm-hmm. world. Then you just gotta stand up and be like, dude, that's not me. What? Where are you getting these rumors from? I could tell you that it's not. It's、mm. not true. But if I mean it, the rumors must have started somewhere, right? If you feel like you need to, you know, I mean, time heals everything. But if you think it's not gonna do anything, if you think this is, this rumor is just really bringing you down, then you gotta find the center of it. You gotta find out where it started. I mean, if it's starting from your friends,、so、you gotta like, really talk to your friends about it because it's really bringing her down. Clearly, right? So, so you really have to. You're saying that you really, our listener Heather has, she has to like. 
you know, Jeez, step so up and uh, find out where it started. Be like, bold. Yeah, yeah. Really search for if if that's the problem. If it doesn't die down with time, really rumor is just rumor. I don't think. Um, right, right. No, know. no. But if this is another thing, if you if it if it's not, I feel like for Heather, mm-hmm. it, the time hasn't healed much. Mm-hmm. Really, like she feels like it may not be a reoccurring rumor, but mm-hmm. it's just her trauma with. Dealing with rumors, it's not helping. Like, and also, don't be shy. Don't right, avoid. Don't right. like. Ugh, what? It's kind of mm. hard to explain. But I mm. really wish that um, ignoring is the best thing. In the, yeah, in the end, I this that's the way I approach it. And I think that's how you approach it too. It's just don't let it get to you because it's just rumors. It's just that it's not true. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. All right. So, um, my advice. Well, I'm glad to hear that Heather, you have one good friend. Good, yeah. That you consider to be that she's right. your best friend. Mm-hmm. Uh, it is very hard to make friends these days, and when right. you grow up, as you grow up, it's harder. Yeah. Yeah, and me, I have a lot of friends, but I can't really say like, "Oh, this is my best friend," or right. that. You know, I don't really now. I don't really say that, mm-hmm. and uh, saying. BFF, best friend, you know, forever. Right. You know, that's yeah, like, that. that's like very high school or yeah, you know, yeah, very is, good school is. thing. Mm-hmm. But it is good to have a good friend. Mm-hmm. Um, and Heather, I can uh, say, uh, I can see that you cannot trust anyone. Right. Then don't say anything. Mm-hmm. Um, make yeah, sure to not, make yeah, make sure yeah. to not share too much information about yourself, right. because you never know how that mm-hmm. um, you were just trying to talk to somebody, but mm-hmm. that someone when they listen to your story, they can right. kind of manipulate right. and might come out with this wrong idea. Mm-hmm. And most of the time, that's how the rumor starts. So. Right. Heather, I, suppose, yeah. um, I can see that you really want to make friends and uh, uh, making friends, that doesn't mean that you have to talk about yourself a lot. Right. Yeah. Right. You, sometimes you kind of have to control what to say and what mm-hmm. to not say. And uh, because um, because people will have a wrong idea if you talk Absolutely. a little bit too much. Right. right. Yeah. Because... Um, because in Korea, you kind of have to be like humble and kind of have to um, decrease amount mm-hmm. of words because right. talkative, it's not a really good idea in Korea, yeah, especially. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, if you can't hold your weight for, I mean, things you say, if you have like no credibility, right? So, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. Right. I mean, this is, uh, this sucks, Heather. I'm not going to say it's, you know, it's not something you could just brush off because you, uh, clearly you've dealt with it for quite a while now. Mm, okay, and so. how to heal this scar. And we just gave you advice not to talk too much about your, yourself. Right. Uh, you can talk to your best friend, mm-hmm. you know, the your long distance. The distance yeah. doesn't really matter mm-hmm. as long as you're uh, friends. And you can right. talk to us too. Mm-hmm. We are your friends too. For sure. And uh, But how to heal this uh, scar. Mm-hmm. Maybe this is uh, that's the most important mm-hmm. part. Right. Corey. How I would go about this situation for real, I think you just need to move on. Just, I mean, rumor again, rumors are rumors. So, as far as you know, being scared, mm-hmm. being locking yourself up because you're scared some rumors are going to start again. See, this is why I kind of want her to find out what the trigger was for the rumor from the first place. Because mm-hmm. why is why is that happening anyways? Right. Like especially in a new setting. Mm-hmm. So yeah, maybe it's because she's talking too much. Okay. About you know too many personal things, and it could be misinterpreted and you know start rumors. True. So, yeah, yeah. Maybe just being a little more, uh, I guess, just conserve conservative about what you say about mm-hmm. yourself, but don't be afraid of meeting new people. Right. You know, uh, just... Do not be afraid and do not pretend that you're shy or anything. No, it's just, no, you just, not at all. just be yourself. Yeah. Keep calm and be yourself. Yeah. And you know what? This is what I want um, our listener to do, actually, because 80s, I know you're tuned in right now. And I am about to send you the book and a CD that you sent me, remember? Oh, nice. Nice. And Heather, I want you to get that book after 80s, yeah. if that's possible. 80s, mm-hmm. could you do that? So uh, Heather, she is from the States. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I think the book that I was uh, that I'm about to send you for our listeners, mm-hmm. uh, it could be very helpful. Yeah. So reading the book mm-hmm. and uh, you know uh, get some idea of a right. meditation and mm-hmm. you know how 
to control mm -hmm. your、uh, own thoughts.、Right. I think this book will be very helpful. So,、mm -hmm. Adis, could you do that when you receive this book? After you read it,、mm -hmm. uh, why don't you send to Heather? And Heather's idea is have 2014. If you guys can contact each other, that'll、mm -hmm. be nice. Very cool. All right, so it is our time to listen to one more check and come back. This is Asa Idio Now. Come on now by Halo. Hopefully that song can cheer our listeners.、Mm -hmm. uh, that was come on now. Idiot now. Yes, just come on, bring it on, man. <laughs> come over here, girl. Bye, Halo. <laughs> All right, so um, I、uh, seems like Heather is maybe not tuned in because、mm -hmm. now it's five, maybe five a.m. in the、sleep. states. Yes,、uh, but、mm -hmm. um, 80s. I can totally see that you're trying to contact her, but we'll make sure maybe that I can just write or、um, we'll try to figure out.、Right. We'll try to figure out because the book is not sent、uh, yet,、mm -hmm. so we'll figure that out.、Yeah. And thank you very much,、uh, 80s from Iceland saying,、um, "Sound K Divas." If you follow either me, Asia, or Divi Squana on Facebook, you guys will can find us or search sound. Sound K Divas.、Mm -hmm. They made a page. That's awesome. Sound K Family page. Was, at first, I was like, Sound K Divas. It's like, are、Sound、you considering me a diva? Divas. Like, it's okay that you consider Nuna a diva, but me. <laughs> You saying that I'm a diva? But okay, I diva, got it. Diva,、uh, <laughs> uh, but basically、uh, because they really want to gather up, and they our listener got、community. close to yeah, yeah, got close. This is networking. This、mm -hmm. is awesome, and、uh, and I can see that AD、uh, saying Corey.、Mm -hmm. I missed you. Will he join our fan club? Oh, <laughs> diva I, I, club. I, I'm gonna go find it. Yeah, let's. I want to be a part of the diva, diva. click. <laughs> Basically, I think we are going to come out with a new name, maybe SK Fam. <laughs> yeah,、uh, that was one of the options. SK Fam. SK Fam. Yeah. Or as、uh, you know, Sam K Diva swag. Swag. Sam K Diva. Yeah. Yeah. Anyways, <laughs> so thank you very much. Uh huh. All right, so let's move on to our next. To tell me, tell me message. Let's do it. We have a Yun Ra Four from Saudi Arabia.、Mm -hmm. Saying hello, Stephanie and Corey. Hello. I am having fun listening to you guys. Thank you very much for saying that.、Mm -hmm. Well, my problem that have been stressing me out lately is about my friend Alyssa,、mm -hmm. and she had always been my soulmate. But、right. now I am guessing it's not like what it was.、Mm -hmm. Okay. So she made she met a new student、mm -hmm. here in school and started、uh, changing her attitude towards、mm -hmm. me. Wow. I've asked her multiple times why would she leave me, but she says I am not. She、mm -hmm. said I am not leaving you,、mm -hmm. and then she will give me million million excuses.、Mm -hmm. So what do you guys think? Should、mm -hmm. I just leave her and not talk to her again,、mm -hmm. or wait until she comes back? Wow, this is、hmm. very dramatic. It is. Uh, I don't think it's a good idea to not talk to her forever. Right. I don't think that's right, right.、Uh, that yeah, a good I mean, idea. Yeah, I think you guys are gonna run into each other anyway. Right. right. Um, talking about best friend and making new friends. I think we we've been talking about this similar situation. Yeah, this is like a very common like problem in、yeah. like high school and just any. Like you know,、mm -hmm. peer community situation. Right, but first of all, most of times the people when they move, you know, or just、uh, let's say you have to go somewhere else,、right. like to other maybe other country or、right. other area to study,、mm -hmm. then you have to make a new friend. Making、Absolutely. new friend is very important.、Mm -hmm. this, is, this is a very ironic thing because、mm -hmm. Heather just talked about、right. how making friend is、mm -hmm. so difficult. For her,、mm -hmm. but、uh, Yara、mm -hmm. uh, from Saudi Arabia she was saying、mm -hmm. that because、uh, her friend, one of her friend, is making maybe too much fr new friends,、right. and it's kind of bothering her. Right, so right, right. it's kind of ironic、mm -hmm. situation now here、uh, that's happening right now.、Um, but I think she is not being. Uh, too nice for、mm. uh, to our listener because、mm. she is giving excuses. I、right. just don't like people who just give a million、right. excuses. That's so iffy, though. You know, it's just like you can't. Okay, say we're like best friends. We've known each other for like BFF. Yeah, like for twenty <laughs> years. Like we grow old to, together, and、uh -huh. like you know, you're gonna make new friends.、Mm -hmm. And when you make new friends, you know, it's really exciting at first, right? Right.、But、just anything new. It's exciting for an individual, and, and like, it's very important. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's 
it's like, do you, are you going to, am I going to understand and just, you know, kind of relate and be like, you know what, if I was in her position, mm -hmm. make a new friend, uh, she met a new friend. Mm -hmm. And I'm, I think nothing less of her, and I'm sure that Stephanie wouldn't have thought any less of me. So do I just let it go? And I'm not saying that I'm gonna let you go as a friend or a best friend, for that matter. Mm -hmm. But maybe it's better to just kind of give her her space, your space mm -hmm. in this case. And for Hyuna's case, I'm saying like maybe just let her friend Elsa, uh -huh. just Elisa. Uh, Elisa, sorry, uh, just kind of kick it and make her a new friend. Like if. I think forcing Alyssa to, you know, just kind of compromise to just you yeah. for a friendship is kind of, it would That's be hard for forcing. Elsa. That's kind of Alyssa, sorry, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so maybe you should take another approach, like just, you know, maybe you should kind of mingle with new friends too. And it absolutely doesn't mean that you'll have to lose a friend. Right. You know? And forcing a friendship that mm -hmm. will never work mm -hmm. out. If anything, you guys will b become closer after time, in mm -hmm. my opinion, mm -hmm. if you guys do end up coming back together. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. General, in life generally, mm -hmm. uh, in social life especially, right. making a good friend is so, so hard. Mm -hmm. But, uh, you know, knowing networking and knowing new people is, I think, personally think it's very important because right. It's survival. You have mm -hmm. to know people, mm -hmm. and knowing people can it can mm -hmm. be a power, mm -hmm. you know. And um, because you say, Alyssa, she moved to different uh, school, mm -hmm. and that is why she's trying to yeah, make absolutely. new friends. And that's mm -hmm. a very natural thing. Mm -hmm. Hyara, I think you definitely have to accept what Alyssa's doing. Right. It's just uh, I know that her it's her attitude. It's mm -hmm. the attitude problem, right? Yeah, I mean, it's hard for us to adjust to. You know new things too at the same time because it's it's not a new change i suppose it's it's something that you already had that's changing mm -hmm. so it, it's I'm, I'm sure it's not easy for mm -hmm. him but it's not the end of the world okay what mm -hmm. about our listeners thought because uh, our listener yeah. Hyun Ra she mm -hmm. is uh, having a, a difficult time yeah. because of her friend Alyssa mm -hmm. because of her attitude uh -huh. um, she's making trying to make a new friends at mm -hmm. school which is very natural mm -hmm. but she's just um, tr maybe mm -hmm. she's ignoring or and, giving excuses mm -hmm. to kind of ignore her not mm -hmm. trying to play with her yeah, 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 yeah. but she's saying you know basically this is saying like mm -hmm. oh I am not avoiding you or something like right. that. So that's also the excuse. Right, right. And she's so excuses are of a, like a, they're definitely a bummer. Like right. it, it depends. Like I, I just to take this very literally, and if it's just literally just excuses, mm -hmm. that's a very loser way to go about this situation because right. you're not being honest. Then so but, should our listener mm -hmm. leave her friend and mm -hmm. not to her, mm -hmm. not to talk to her again, which mm -hmm. is kind of dramatic. Mm -hmm. Or wait until she comes yeah. back. Mm -hmm. What uh, What do you guys think? What does mm -hmm. our listener think about mm -hmm. this uh, situation? Because right. since we mm -hmm. didn't really go to school, yeah, 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 yeah. Because this we was just an example, and, right. for sure. And, and this is uh, such a common situation. It is very yeah, common. I'm sure it it doesn't even matter if you have a friend that moved on from. You know, it could have been within your boundaries. You know, yeah. it could just be in the same office or same school, like same you know classroom. Maybe right. it doesn't have to be from like a new school to another but you know we deal with this with like old friends a lot right so what would be the good advice for our listener Hyun Ra mm -hmm. so if you guys have any good idea make sure please please send in your advice and messages on Absolutely. our message board we Yo. need some help here mm -hmm. alright so it is our time to listen to ooh, perfect song to this track this is but go by yeah. Acor we'll be back <laughs> Okay, 80s from Iceland giving advice for our listener. Mm. Well, uh, this is a uh, not exact situation that um, uh, our listeners are going through with right. Alyssa because it's uh, her best friend. Mm -hmm. But uh, best friends who start dating, mm -hmm. uh, that's a different situation. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so girls always disappear when mm -hmm. they start dating. Oh, whatever. It's the same for guys, too. There's no different. My goodness. <laughs> uh, how, how do you deal with that? I'm oh, sorry. It, go ahead with the message. Let's finish this uh -huh. message. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it happens to everyone, <laughs> and they think the sun <laughs> revolves around their boyfriend, and until mm. the honeymoon stage is over, let her be, and she will mm. realize what she is doing and hopefully come back. Mm -hmm. And don't be afraid to say that you miss her. Mm -hmm. She hurts it. 
Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So what are you about? What are you about? Well, I mean, about? you've dealt with that, right? What are you talking wait, wait, about? We're a friend. Just I don't know what you're talking no? about. Oh, come on. Come on. Whatever. Like, I, I love to show if mm-hmm. I'm a boyfriend, I love to show my boyfriend to everyone. Mm hmm. Yeah, no, no, no. I'm saying secret. I, no, no. I'm saying, have you had a friend who started dating and just kind of like went a wire? Yeah, right. I mean, but like, I thought she died or something like right, that. Right, right. That happens <laughs> to me too. Like, even my closest <laughs> friends that I used to hang out with like every single day, mm-hmm. like after school, mm. he starts dating and he just disappears. And I was just like, it's like, hmm? dude, what are you doing? Where'd he it's go? Like, uh, Where'd yeah. he go? Where did my brother go? But you know, mm-hmm. well, in that case, it's very understandable. Mm-hmm. But uh, if it's just like a girlfriend's problem, right, right, then right. this is kind of. Do you it, think it's, it's a different situation? Oh, it's a totally different oh. situation. Yeah, yeah. Don't you think? Because making yeah, a friend, I yeah, because girlfriends, uh, we kind of get a little sensitive. Right. No, no, no. Like I'm trying to. But understand. dating, I understand. We okay. understand too. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Well, we just have to let that mm. person, you know, yeah, go. Yeah, yeah. I guess again, this. We know the situation, mm-hmm. you know, we we could relate as far as relationship goes. When we start dating at first, you know, it's like the best thing ever. Right. But, if uh, that um, mm. Alyssa was a dating, then mm. uh, that... Yeah, that's a different situation, yeah, that's a, correct. And we'll say like, oh, just let her go. She will mm-hmm. come back. Mm-hmm. Um, but if it's uh, she's just trying to ignore the friendship, then that's a different right, story, right, right, right? right? But anyways, ladies, thank you very much for mm-hmm. your advice. As mm-hmm. always, mm-hmm. I really, really uh, am impressed uh, with your messages every for time. Sure. Okay, um, uh, let's continue. Let's with our next. Tell me, tell me. Oh, sorry. Before that, mm-hmm. and she added that I think it depends on what Alyssa means to Hyunra and mm-hmm. do you want to uh, lose her you could ask her to go to movies together and find something you both enjoy doing right. and ask her to meet up mm-hmm. if she says no mm-hmm. ask her why mm-hmm. and you will know the answer then yeah, yes yeah. if there's like a right moment to ask mm-hmm. ro- why that's then... an ultimatum though right for sure I mean we you have to be aware that if you once you bring that out mm-hmm. I mean that's out of the cage now. Like, mm-hmm. once you, you know, confront her, just like, oh, dude, what's going on? Mm-hmm. That, that, I like, just want to know. That, that's, just talk yeah, out. Yeah, no, no. But in the end, I think that would just kind of, like, clear everything up. Like, right. W- like, stop with your excuses. I just want to know straight up. Are you down with this relationship or not? Are you, right. like, are you my friend? Or do you got my back or not? So, uh-huh. making the right moment to ask why. Yeah. Absolutely. Ask her why. Okay. Mm-hmm. Very good point, Aegis. Once more, thank you very much. Mm-hmm. All right. So, let's move on. Let's. This one is from Chief Aluki. Uh-huh. Chief Aluki from Tunisia. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm going to graduate... Uh, I'm going to graduate this year from high school mm-hmm. and honestly I went to, uh, I want to join an economic or I want to study economics in in college mm-hmm. but my parents always want always talk and I have talk about me going to a med, a medical studying medical medical uh, school yeah going to a medical school mm-hmm. or just joining a medical field and uh, like my sister oh okay and honestly when seeing my sister suffering Becoming a doctor, I have no interest in becoming a doctor. Oh my I've tried to talk to my parents, but they think that I'm not serious when I'm saying that I don't want to join medical school. So, you know, what should I do? Should I just follow my dream or should I study medical or go to a medical school? school? What? I think this is a very simple answer, right? Go just ahead. no, don't do something you don't want to do. No! Absolutely not. That that's that that's as clear as I could get. Yeah, it's like no. <laughs> Just don't period. do it. Yeah, do what you want to do. Seriously, um, yeah. Luki's, um, medical school. I see. Right, right. Well, your sister already got mm. in, so why right, right. why you? I mean, it it is like a very family thing. It can yeah, be yeah, yeah, like yeah. family issue because uh-huh. my friend, one of my friend, also uh-huh. suffers from this case. Same same case. Yeah, yeah same case because mm-hmm. um, their parents is also right. uh, their doctors mm. and their lawyers, right, and right. they want their uh, kids to go to uh-huh. see, you know medical school uh-huh. or whatever or law school mm-hmm. just uh, torturing this is them such like a traditional like like i'm not being racist mm-hmm. i hope but this is a very traditional like asian family kind of it's thing like they asian. want you to no but it's all out of love like they want you to do something that's a lot more economically 
fiscal. Like, just like, you know, if you, you know, there's money in mm -hmm. medical school. Mm -hmm. So, well, I'm good to hear that your parents mm -hmm. will be very supportive and you say, if you say that, oh, yes, yeah. maybe I will go to medical mm -hmm. school because it's very expensive. Mm -hmm. It's pretty expensive. Mm -hmm. Having the parents back, you know, then that's a great thing because right, right. a lot of people who are able to go to medical school but cannot mm -hmm. pay the tuition, that's a different story. Right, 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 right. But uh, this is like, uh, should I purchase my dream or mm -hmm. go to medical school? Mm -hmm. You know what? If you're not interested in medical school and you saw how hard it is, mm -hmm. you don't really have to, you know, you don't really have to torture yourself. Right, right, right. Why? Mm -hmm. You know, and do, if you have a mm -hmm. dream, mm -hmm. then chase it. Mm -hmm. It's uh, yeah, all about yeah. that. In life, there's nothing. Mm. If you don't have a dream, then mm. you don't have life. Yeah, and Chief Aluki's actually pointed out herself that her parents don't know if she's being serious or not. Like, about not going to a medical school. Right? Then talk to yeah. them. Then so talk I to think them. you just need to tell them what you're serious about. Yeah, then. like, seriously, yeah. sit down and talk uh -huh. to them. Or, if anything, just kind of just be honest about maybe you're just not ready to make a decision on exactly what I want to do. Mm -hmm. Maybe I just want to explore a little bit and see what's going on in college in general. And so. please, and university and college, like, mm -hmm. schoolwork is not a number one priority. No. Oh. Yeah, no, no. It, I think it definitely, it, it is you, our mm -hmm. listener, who really have to put yourself um, on number one mm -hmm. and uh, uh, just, uh, you know, going to school. Just think that going to university or school, studying is uh, always amazing thing because it, that means you have a chance to learn something. Right. Learning is a great thing, but if you have this like per, like specific dream to chase mm -hmm. that you want to achieve, right. then then just you know you really have to focus on mm -hmm. uh, what you really have to work for. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Chifalukis, and thank you very much. And hopefully our advice. Well, we had very simple yeah, yeah, closure yeah. Yeah, for yeah. Chifalukis, but thank you mm -hmm. very much. We have Miss Kelly from Friends. Uh, this is about the best friend situation. The advice uh, for Hyunra. Mm -hmm. Just let it go. Being jealous or too uh, possessive mm -hmm. with friendship is not good. Yeah, it's not healthy. Uh huh. And when she needs you, she will come back mm -hmm. and uh, live your own life and maybe make a new friend. There yeah. you go. There you go. Why Absolutely. don't you make a new friend mm -hmm. this for yourself? This is a very yourself. simple way to think about it. Yeah. You know? And you too depend to your best friend. Oh, so basically saying, why don't you just um um just let it go mm -hmm. and don't depend on your friend too right, much. Right, right. Just take care of yourself. Yeah, I think mm -hmm. that's very important. And uh, we have one more. Tell me, tell me. We have a Sienna from the Philippines. Okay. Hello, DJ Stephanie and Corey. Yo. May I ask for your suggestion? So this mm -hmm. is not a, it's a small thing, mm -hmm. but a suggestion, okay? Okay. Three months from now, I am going to celebrate my 18th birthday. Woo! Turning 18. Yeah. But until now, I don't know what should I uh, pick the theme for. Mm-hmm. She just wanted to. Uh, You're gonna have a pick birthday the theme. theme. Yeah, birthday theme. Oh. 18th birthday. That's gotta be like the most special birthdays of all birthdays. Yeah. In the so states, at least I remember. Like sweet 16. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. Turning 13, 16, 18. Because I know this uh, mm -hmm. one TV program when they put like a mass of money and their parents right. just throw <laughs> a crazy <laughs> birthday party. Sweet 16. Oh, I can't even watch that. That actually is the name of that program. But who gets was... sweet 16s like that? Who gets to celebrate? Like it's, yeah, it's like they put I don't know like, like I don't know two hundred thousand dollars per I don't yeah, I mean, it yeah, was yeah. really crazy. But any mm -hmm. suggestion? What uh, is the best theme for my birthday? Please mm -hmm. let me know. Okay, but Sienna. maybe Sienna's throwing like a huge bash because I mean a theme. Mm -hmm. Well, maybe she wants to celebrate meaningfully. Mm -hmm. So me, when I was eighteen for my eighteenth birthday, I mm -hmm. was a trainee, so I couldn't really right. uh, spend <laughs> time that's with my set, family. That's I shouldn't laugh. Sorry. But, yeah, thank you. Uh -huh. <laughs> um, but the thing was, um, mm -hmm. my agency threw uh, uh, gave me this gift card. Awesome! Yeah, there it was go. it was a, mm -hmm. yeah a pricey gift card mm -hmm. that I could like spend money. Right, 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 right. And uh, it, because they <laughs> felt the maybe, yeah, maybe they could 
it, it's the uh, best thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Money's always just, you know. Um, yeah, and yeah. you know what? I gave myself a, a free shopping spree mm -hmm. uh, time. How awesome is that? That's awesome. That's the best thing. And I spent. Free shopping spree. And I spend that much shop, yeah, mm -hmm. shopping spree. Maybe mm -hmm. that's because that's what I did for my right, 18th birthday. Right. So I suggest that see, uh, Sienna, mm -hmm. um, just you know, you have to give, just give yourself a good gift for yourself. Mm -hmm. Me, I just I don't know. Maybe mm. I just love to spend time by myself, <laughs> yeah, and yeah, I just yeah. spend all those money on um, one day. So yeah, yeah, within yeah. two hours, so the birthdays. It's all about you, yeah, you know? Yeah, I, so, I had a great bir 18th birthday. Mm -hmm. So how about you, Corey? Do you my remember? My birthday was a blur. I don't even remember my 18th birthday. <laughs> oh, my goodness. That was, that was how great it was. Oh, So really? I think that's what's important. You just got to enjoy it. Whether what, what, it doesn't, the theme should be Sienna. That's what it should be. There it you go. It should just be about you turning 18. You got more responsibilities, you know, coming, coming at you. So just enjoy while you... Are still young. Yeah. If you have yeah. any wish list, why don't you like uh, write it down? Yeah. And try to make that happen. You Absolutely. Know? And uh, maybe you will have a fabulous birthday. Sienna. Sienna. I'm in. All it's, right. Yes. It's Invite all about. Invite me if it's going to be a bash. <laughs> I'll fly over. It's all about you, Sienna. And thank you very much from the Philippines for your tell me, tell me message. Mm -hmm. Everyone, thank you once again for supporting yes. our show. But it is our time to send Corey Ooh. out. And the song that we're going to listen to to is ooh not alone by Park Jung Min and mm. Corey I will see you next week thank you Peace. bye bye